Hey, this is Donnie. I got a question I'm going to answer today and I have Abby with me. And uh, we, we're planning to make some more videos. We've kind of been busy, but we do have some coming up. Also, we want to let you know uh, we'll be going to SEMA. So we'll have a lot of pictures and photos uh, to, that we'll be taking there. And uh, but anyway, I had one question I just want to answer real quick. This is a live video, but I didn't notify anybody. I just want to answer this question. So let me go over to the questions. Let's see. I've got too many tabs up. Okay. I know my eyes ain't the best, so I've got Abby here to read that for me. <laughs> <laughs> so um, the question is, what do you do if you get ridges from the two paints? And what he's asking about is on, on a video where we're doing some stripes, like a two-tone, and uh, that's what he's wondering, you know, you can fill those lines. And if you paint two different colors, you take mask off and you paint another color, there's going to be a line there that you can fill. Now, the clear coat is going to fill some of that in, you know, where you don't fill it as much. But really, the only way to eliminate that where they're invisible, where you can't fill them. I mean, you're basically going to have to clear coat that and then you're going to have to come back and sand that. And then you're going to have to come back and clear coat on top of that again. That's really the only way is, is by burying that line with the clear coat and sanding it that you're going to be able to get rid of it. So I believe that's the question he was wondering is how do you make that uh, that line, you know, the stripe or the two tone or whatever, where you can't fill it. And a lot of show cars do that. You know, they'll go in and, and make it where they're invisible and you can't fill them. But it does take a little bit more money for clear coat, takes a little bit more time. So uh, I just wanted to answer that one question and let you know we do have some more videos coming soon. Um, and if you have any questions, you know, be sure to leave us a comment below. And you want to say for what video it was for? Yeah, it, it was on a video where we were painting stripes. It's a DIY, how to paint stripes on a car. It's a two-tone custom paint. But, uh, yeah, and we did not do that one on that one. We just uh, clear-coated on top of it so you could fill the lines a little bit, you know, where the two paints match, uh, meet up together. But yeah, if you want to do that, it's going to take a sanding it down, that clear coat. You don't want to stand through the clear coat. You know, you just want to try to level that out a little bit. And then you're going to have to come back and put clear coat on top of that again. And if you still still feel a little bit of a lump and you want them completely gone, you might even have to do that process again. So it takes a lot of work to do that. But, it, you know, it does look nice, you know, whenever you have, have some stripes or two-tone and you fill it and there's there's no lump or line or whatsoever so yeah that is pretty cool but it does take a little bit of time um, let me get back over here so um yeah if uh, i know a couple of you said you're going to be going to sema if you do be sure and stop us uh say hello you know if you see us uh most of you uh, said you weren't going to be going so i know it's kind of a you know it's kind of a not convenient for some people especially if you're you know working full time and all that but it is a lot of fun uh, I've always enjoyed it, and now you get to try it out. So, yep, this is my first year going to SEMA, so I'm super excited to see what everybody has and um, all the cool ideas and the cars. So, yeah, hopefully, some of you can say hello. So, yeah, this is just a quick video. Uh, thanks for watching. Take care, and we'll see you in the next video. <laughs>